Hello again, everybody. This is John with BestPriceNutrition.com. Today I'm here to talk with you guys about Meritrim. I'm sure you saw it on TV being hailed as the greatest fat loss supplement ever. Um, I want to give you a calm, scientific look at what it actually is and what the research says it is. Um, you know, it was hailed to increase adiponectin levels, um, you know, which is a very important uh, hormone that plays a role in energy homeostasis. It's a, it's a fat derived hormone like leptin, I'm sure some of you guys have heard about. And having higher levels of it is correlated with leaner individuals. The leaner you are, the more of this you have. The heavier you are, the more obese you are, the less of this you have. Um, and, and that's because it plays a key role and we're learning more and more about it. It plays a role in uh, blood sugar metabolism. Um, the size of your fat cells is also correlated with it. Um, and we have a video on size of fat cells and whether or not you can ever get rid of them or you uh, just build up more of them, what have you. We have a video that goes in depth on fat cells that you might want to check out. It's only three and a half minutes. We'll link it below. But that's, that's what it's being hailed as, and I'm sure their study was referenced. And I want to go through this study, so don't tune out on exactly the design of it and so on and so forth so you guys get a nice calm look at it because you're going to be getting a lot of adjectives thrown at you about how to, you know, selling it to you and so on and so forth. But I want to give you guys the uh, real deal on it. So what is it? Well, Meritrim is a trademark name for a blend of two herbs, specifically East Indian globe thistle and mangosteen. Those two herbs together are what make up Meritrim. Um, the East Indian globe thistle is an Ayurvedic herb. It's available throughout India. Um, it's known to have some hypoglycemic effects, blood sugar lowering effects, and anti-cancer effects, although those need to be validated through further research. Um, the mangosteen itself, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it. It's a very expensive fruit juice you could buy. Um, it's mainly noted for its antioxidant activity. So Meritrim, trademark name for both of those together. Now there was a study done with 100 subjects this was a placebo-controlled, double-blind, uh, randomized, placebo-controlled, uh, double-blind study. And what that means is that the researchers and the subjects being tested didn't know whether they were getting the placebo or the meritrim. So that's good. Then it takes away that bias from it. Um, of the 100 subjects, five dropped out, so were there, 95, there were 95 of them. And they were either given 400 milligrams two times per day of the meritrim or a placebo. They were told to take in a, a diet of 2,000 calories per day and exercise five days a week for 30 minutes, which consisted of walking. The caloric breakdown, the macronutrients, I went ahead and did this for you guys, was 56 grams of fat, 305 grams of carbohydrates, 70 grams of protein. The average BMI was between 30 and 40. The average body weight was 181 pounds for both group and the groups, and the average height was 5 feet 3 inches tall. There was an equal distribution of men and women in both the placebo and the study group. Now, I did was I took the what I did was I took the weight of the the average weight and I figured out what their maintenance calories would be. In other words, how many calories would they have to take in to maintain that body weight of 181 pounds? And that comes in at between 2,500 and 2,700 calories per day. So in other words, if they took in that many calories, they'd remain the same body weight. Now, all other things being equal, activity level and what have you. Now, what I did was I said, okay, well at 2,000 calories. That's going to be a, you know, about a 500 to 700 calorie deficit. I average the two. That comes out to 4,200 calories per week or 33,600 calories over the course of the eight weeks. That's the deficit. What I would have predicted before I looked at the results was about nine and a half pounds of weight loss. If they did nothing else, if they just followed the instructions, that's that with that kind of caloric deficit. Now, the actual results had the placebo group losing 3.3 pounds and the Meritrim group losing 8.36 pounds. Now, one limitation was body composition wasn't measured. In other words, they didn't do something like a DEXA scan or underwater weighing or hydrostatic weighing as it's known to um, account for body fat levels and you know how much is skeleton and so on and so forth. So what they relied on was uh, hip to, um, I'm sorry, waist to hip ratio in terms of measuring and body weight. Now, that that's a pretty significant limitation because I'll tell you why. You notice that the group that took the Meritrim lost 8.36 pounds. Well. The two herbs, the mangosteen and the East Indian globe thistle, are mild diuretics, so that could pull water out of your body. So that may partially explain the greater weight loss in the Meritrim group. But what I want to report back, come back to you guys with, is that the placebo group only lost 3.3 pounds. So I predicted 9.5 pounds if they did what the researchers told them. Here's another limitation. The calories, the caloric intake was self-reported. Now the meals were pre-made and they were free, so that's good. It's more likely that they'll stick to it if the food is given to them. However, it was self-reported in terms of caloric intake. So you could take in the 2,000 calories they said from those meals and then eat something else. And then you don't want to disappoint the researchers, so you tell them in the survey, oh, I, I stuck to it and that's that. 
but that that to me wouldn't add up because you only lost 3.3 pounds. So to me, this is okay. Well, you, you took in more calories than, than you said. And with such a small group, it is a relatively small group, 95 is decent size, but over the course of eight weeks, it is possible that that might have skewed the results in favor of the Maritrim group, where maybe there were more people just by chance that happened to be in the um, uh, placebo group that ate more calories, which skewed their weight loss uh, down a little bit to only 3.3 pounds. Now, something else to consider. One of the things in the survey was self-confidence, you know, while, you know, on the... Uh, placebo or the uh, Meritrim, and the group that took the Meritrim reported higher levels of, of self-confidence. So that may be due to this increase in adiponectin levels. It does play a role in your brain. So that's possible, and that would then contribute to saying, hey, well, maybe that Meritrim did have that positive effect to keep the people on the diet. That's something to consider. Now, what adiponectin does, like I said, if you're leaner, you're going to have more of it. If you're heavier, you're going to have less of it. It, it plays a really key role in energy homeostasis. It plays a role in the size of fat cells, blood sugar metabolism, um, things like that. It's, it's, it's like leptin. It's, an, it's a fat cell derived hormone. So if you can increase those levels, that would be a good thing. Um, and based on some uh, in vitro studies, it has been demonstrated that this can elevate those levels. Um, also based on this, they did see some higher levels as well in this study. So that leads me to the conclusion that there's a few different possibilities as to why we had such a greater weight loss in the Meritrim group as opposed to the uh, placebo group. One would be the, um, what I mentioned before, the fact that maybe the placebo group, because it was, you know, we're talking about in that group about 40 some odd people, just ate more calories just by chance than the other group. And the other possibility is, as I said, well maybe the Meritrim group having the higher adiponectin levels didn't splurge as much. Maybe they did stick to it more because of the fact that those levels were elevated. That's, that is also possible. Um, or uh, the other possibility is it's a combination of all of the above or there's also, and I should have said this first, the diuretic effect of the uh, supplement itself. Maybe pulling water up maybe also attribute to that. But again, I did predict that they should have had about nine and a half pounds of uh, weight loss throughout the eight weeks, give or take. So since the supplement group came, you know, closer to that, it may be more the fact that the increased adiponectin levels may have played a role in that. So um, you got to weigh those factors out as to whether or not you want to buy it. Now, like I said, there's going to be a lot of um, hyperbole out there, people trying to sell it to you. They're going to focus, hey, look at the results. This group lost this much, this group lost that much. It must be because of this. Maybe we need to see these things repeated um, to, to, de to, further, to have more um, confidence in the results. That's possible. Now, for some of you, you're going to say, hey, it's definitely because of the supplement. That's fine. That, that's, it's not a, an illogical conclusion based upon the design of the study. So if that's the case and you did want to buy the supplement, you're like, hey, that's enough evidence for me. I want to roll dice. I want to buy it. It's worth it to me. Um, I'm going to go, go ahead and uh, show you the Life Extension Advanced Anti-Adipocyte Formula, uh, which has Ravingia in here as well. Um, specifically, there's 400 milligrams of the Meritrim in this product and another 150 milligrams of the African Mango. Um, that's in the life extension version. So two capsules a day would get you the 800 milligrams per day. Um, so you'd get to the clinically studied uh, effective dose based upon this study. So that's the supplement that's available. Um, I apologize for the bark before I had my little dog in here while I was shooting the video. So if you guys heard that, that's what that was. So, um, but I hope this provided a you know sober, you know calm look at what this is. Again, hopefully these results can be repeated. Um, you know, for some of you, I know if you're trying to lose weight, hey, it's any port in the storm, anything that can help me, I get it. Um, based on this evidence, you know, you wouldn't be completely out of line to say, hey, maybe this will help. Um, that would be my conclusion. I'd like to see more evidence to confirm it. But again, as I said, if it's worth it, hey, give it a shot because there is some positive evidence. Um, and they could be looked at both ways. So I hope you found this helpful. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up below. Also, you can check us out at facebook.com slash bestpricenutrition. Thanks for watching.